Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of chronic epididymoarchitis. We have recently posted a video about acute epididymoarchitis, so don't forget to check that also. A 32-year-old male patient came with a small right testis. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the still picture of the right testis in longitudinal and transverse sections. You can see the testis is small in size and heterogeneously hypoechoic. This is the left testis. It's apparently normal in size and shape with uniform ecotexture. So if you make a comparison, you see the right testis is significantly smaller than the left one. Here is another picture with longitudinal sections and you can see the epididymal heads. The right one is a small and heterogeneously hypoechoic in comparison to the left one. Same things goes for the testis also. Let's see on real time. Here you can see both testis. This is the right one and this is the left one. As the right one is significantly small, it's easy to see two testis in a single view with a high frequency transducer. The right testis is heterogeneously hypoechoic. The epididymis has also got shrunkened. Here's the transverse section. You can see the right testis is relatively smaller and heterogeneously hypoechoic in comparison to the normal left one. There is no definite mastellation seen here. Here we have put the color Doppler as the left testis is the normal one, so we want to check that first. We adjusted our pulse repetition frequency and you can see the normal vascularity within the left testis. Now in comparison to the left one, let's check the right one. Here on the right one, you apparently can't see vascularity. There are some tiny vessels here, so the vascularity is significantly reduced due to the chronic inflammatory process. Here's the color Doppler picture. You can see the right and left testis, and the right one shows diminished vascularity. Here's another picture of the right testis with a reduced flow. Here's the last picture with the right testis being small and heterogeneous with a normal left testis. So in summary, small and heterogeneously hypoechoic right testis and epididymis are seen with diminished vascularity on Doppler, suggesting it to be a case of chronic epididymoarchitis. Now the take home message. Any focal heterogeneous hypervascular area in case of chronic epididymoarchitis should be assessed carefully to exclude malignancy. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.